Hey guys, um, this is just my chlorate cell. Um, what I've got here for my cathode and anode is I've actually got a, a part of a uh, steel coffee can and four graphite gouging rods. Now graphite gouging rods are used by welders to um, cut uh, sheet metal or metal. Um, they're copper plated. Um, usually you can just peel it off which makes your job really easy but sometimes you can't and you'll have to run it in a um, salt solution to get rid of the copper coating. Um, and don't use the uh, the electrolyte once you've um, dissolved the copper coating. It's it's useless. Don't put it in your cell. Anyway, um, so I've just got my converted um, power supply here from a computer. Um, <coughs> there's this is on WikiHow. Currently, I'm running five volts, uh, roughly, and maybe like twenty amps. It says forty amps, but I doubt it's forty amps because these things are always inaccurate. Um, I've got a little LED there. You can sort of see it. Um, I, I need to rewire this whole thing. I need to put it into binding posts and stuff. Haven't gone around to it yet. But here I've just got some crop clips. Um, there's the 5 volt wire and there's the earth. Um, and there we go. Um, I've actually used some copper sort of uh, coat, the, the copper plating off the, um, the welding rods to actually wrap around them so that they're all getting the same amount of current. Um, as you can see there, it's actually connected to the copper tapey sort of stuff. Um, and that distributes the, um, the current throughout all of the, uh, the anodes. Uh, more surface area works faster, etc. I don't have this heated. Um, as you can see, I can't heat it because it's a really chunky plastic container. It's a really high quality container too. It's got a rubber seal and that's got a little thing up there. And it's got the Systema brand. Probably something you'd pay like six or seven US dollars to buy maybe. Something good, it's decent, it's worth the money. Um, and I'm pretty sure it holds up to the chlorate and such. Down there you can just see all the graphite particles um, that have collected. Um, I'm just, I have sodium chloride in there right now. Um, there's my container full of potassium chloride. I have to use fertilizer grade because here in New Zealand, we're not so scared of sodium. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nobody really likes potassium chloride here. Nobody really cares enough to use it. Too laid back. Um, I can't find it in water softeners or anything. I'm buying it at about a dollar a kilo. It's fertilizer grade, so it's got a whole lot of other bits of crap in it. It's not too bad, but... It leaves a kind of whitish sort of mud, like like the stuff you find on beaches when you make a solution of it. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, it's got a little bit of stuff in it. But apart from that, it's it's okay, and it's better than nothing. So yeah, there's my chlorite cell. Before I go, here I am just boiling the solution. And there's my gas canister there. 